Hey, what is going on and welcome to another Twisted League video. I just finished 80 wood cutting and along with that all the arrow shafts that I need for all my 50k broad arrows that I will be making passively over the video. Look at this absolute chad. Using a dragon axe as his primary weapon. Ended my last video with getting a temple spider task because I actually wanted to try some Sarachnus. The thing is I'm not really expecting this to be efficient at all so I'll probably just do a few kills and see how it goes. What is the first loot going to be? Let's uh, turn the prayer off. And uncount sapphires, yeah that's some crafting experience and also of course the league task completed. I I'm not sure how many points it is but for one kill I would assume like 10 points or something. So second kill was actually pretty good. Uncut emeralds, which is quite a lot of uh, crafting experience, and then 100 red spider eggs. By the way, if you don't know what the giant egg sack is, that's exactly what it is. It's 100 red spider eggs. So my herb level is currently at the point where I can boost with all these catantine to be able to make super defense potions. So time to do a bunch of that. It is actually quite a lot easier to do this with super defense potions, but that is my fifth kill. And uh, yeah, this is definitely not worth it. I just wanted to try out the boss and yeah, it's not that hard but not that great either. So I'm about to hit 68 herb lore and it's actually quite a huge level which is also 1750 total for some points but now I can boost with botanical pie all the way to 72 to make ranging potions which I will be using for my future listenman tasks to make them way smoother. But I actually really want to get my total level up and claim a lot of points in this video. So I'm actually going to start off by getting 80 runecrafting and meanwhile do some fletching. So when I'm running for the books all over this place, meanwhile getting to 77 runecrafting and then finishing that off with blue uh, blood runecrafting, I'm going to do some fletching along the way and hopefully I can finish all these arrow shafts. Let's see how good this experience is. I have 10 times experience in runecrafting. Let's see, 1.8k experience for every single book. Yeah, this is going to be pretty fast in the beginning, but I can imagine it being uh, way slower later on. Uh, so let's see if I can use all these books. I have done like 12,000 arrowheads so far, which is pretty nice. Uh, 49 from, I think I was 46. I hit 50 runecrafting and I got a base level 50s, so that should be some points as well. Uh, if I can <laughs> click away. Probably not too many though. Yeah, like 50 points. So there's two things in this clip. First off, I'm getting 60 runecrafting. And along with that, I just recently turned in 250 library books, which uh, will be 100 points. Lost milestone before 77, 70 runecrafting incoming, and I have currently made 25,000 arrowheads, so halfway there pretty much. Even more easy points, 500 books turned in. So let's claim the points for this, and that is 100 points. About to get 77 runecrafting, and it did take quite some time actually, but during the time, of course, I did the fletching as I've been saying, and I finished all the arrowheads, and I also managed to make 10,000 broad arrows. This was quite annoying to do actually when I didn't have the agility level to do it in the most efficient way, but anyways, this will be 80 runecrafting for another 100 points that I can claim, and also 2,100 blood runes, and we're almost at 1,800 total. Just quickly glanced at my stats and I had 77 Hunter, so I just finished that up as well. There we go, 80 Hunter, and we are two levels away from 1800 total, and we just hit 100 million total experience. It was actually a long time ago since I got a XP random event, and I'm actually going to put it in Agility. I was thinking about Herblore first, but I'm going to be PVMing a lot, and I don't really need more than like 78 Herblore, and it's not going to take that long to get there anyway, so I'm going to put it in Agility. 56, no level, but 8.4k agility experience. So I had to complete 22 more clues to uh, be able to get the 100 hard clue mark. And I'm just wondering, guys, let me know in the comment section below, by the way, how tired are you guys of watching people open clue scrolls in the Twisted League? I mean, literally like half the video of every single RuneScape YouTuber right now is just opening clue scrolls. So I'm going to try to do this as smoothly and fast as possible. By the way, I'm 92 fletching right now. Uh, I can actually make a magic... Uh, shield bow, it's not a shield bow, it's a magic shield or whatever for ranged. Um, so I will be doing that in the future as well to get a better one than a new one. Anyways, let's get these 22 open now and uh, hopefully get some decent alkyballs. Uh, that's a unique that I didn't have actually, I think, but I already have uh, van braces. So I, I just want alkyballs really from these and that's pretty much what you can e expect from all of them anyways. Uh, so let's uh, see if we can get that 100 mark and get some free points. Master Clue, of course, yeah, Master Clue is something I also want, and uh, 
all these items are just really not that necessary. I mean, the only thing that I can think of that I would really want is like some extremely rare items. Or, um, is there like a com- Ah, oh, you can't get a combat bracelet from these, that's uh, only elites. And, uh, yeah. Other than that, there's nothing too special that I really want. Just really rare items or alkyballs. And of course, food is also really good. I'm just going to open these and they can drop on the ground. So, there we go. 100 hard clues completed and let's uh, gain the points. I think this is 400 as well. So yeah, 8. Whoa, 450 points. Pretty good. So it's time for me to see how far I can get with the planks I currently have. It's not that many, so it's going to go pretty fast. I have like 120 mahogany planks, 137 teak and 1.8k oaks. And I'm currently at 51 uh, construction. So let's see what level I'm at when I'm done. I'm not even done with my mahogany planks and I'm 60 construction. That was some really fast 9 levels. Another milestone coming in, 70 construction, getting pretty high with the few amounts of planks that I had and I'm 1821 total. So yeah, I'm probably going to get like 75 or something like that, I think. Here we have the last inventory and you will see soon what level I'm going to get. It was actually pretty perfect because I think Sometime on these three lasts I will get the last level. There you go. I ended up at 77 construction Not too far from 80 so I can get some more planks maybe from elite clues or something like that and get 80 in the fairly near future I have some slayer tasks I haven't done yet that gives like 50 points So I'm going to unlock red dragons for one of them and I'm going to complete it on the baby red dragons Which is going to be extremely fast and I can maybe get some grubby keys as well for some free food and potions Took pretty much no time at all and I got two grubby keys. Actually pretty good. And there you go. Complete a red dragon task that gives 50 points and let's open the two keys. There's also tasks for opening grubby chests and I don't think I will reach another milestone. But yeah, that's some really good loot from them actually. Now let's do a task of uh, hellhounds. 150. That's a lot of them but should be pretty easy if I just pray melee. I don't really pick up hard clue scrolls anymore because I have like 250 of them in the bank but <laughs> at least I picked up 13 of them but that is another 50 points. Another one I have not done which should be very easy is black demons. Hopefully I don't get too many. 66 yeah that is going to be extremely fast and some free magic experience from safe spotting. So what I'm doing is I'm alking all these items that I got from clue scrolls and all the things that I just have in general that I can alk in the bank and I'm killing the demons at the same time to get pretty much double the rate of magic experience, maybe even a bit more than that. And the slayer experience is actually not that bad either, 1.7k for each kill, so let's see how much magic experience I will have at the end of this uh, assignment. Had to complete the assignment on my mobile phone, but look at the counter, 1.7 million experience from that one black demon task. That was some really insane experience. 99 magic is going to be pretty easy. I think I'm like 91 right now or 92. And I picked up a brutal black dragon task and I have 28 to kill. I didn't even know they could drop them, but I got a rune hasta. I, obviously it's not going to be useful as I have an abyssal whip, but it looks pretty cool. I just wanted to see how much fletching experience it is to make these dragon arrow tips. Okay, that's like 700 more experience than Broad Arrow, so it's not that good actually. I thought it would be like a really, really good experience, but nah. And that's the last assignment I will do for points. I have completed, I think, all the 50 point tasks except for Blue Dragons, and I don't really want to do that right now, so 250 points for all those tasks. So I have two Dark Totems, and I haven't killed Scotizo even once, and that is 50 points, so I'm going to do both of these. Alright, so uh, here we go. That was not too bad with the ranged and uh, I don't know, I killed the things on the side like once and they just never respawned again. Uh, okay, one Scutis kill, the rune plate body, some ancient charge. I mean, that's like what, 120k Alex? That's actually not that bad. Second kill, and actually Scotizo has a 1 in uh, 1000 chance of getting an uncut onyx, which would be a fury or uh, a region bracelet. So there's always that chance of getting that, but not this time, 450 soul runes, probably one of the worst drops you can get. Oh yeah, uh, I actually took a greater demon task as well from that, because you do get a slayer experience for that on Scotizo, and I had actually not completed a greater demon task either, so I'm just going to finish it on the normal ones. There we go, it's uh, now done and I'm going to look at my stats. I currently have 90 defense, 90 attack and 92 strength and I just recently got the 90 defense. So let's claim the points for that task, yeah, 60 league points for Scotizo and this one. 
I actually want to get back to drakes and lizardmen shamans, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bunch of twisted banshee kills for the herbs and I also want to get all the points that I need for an herb sack and herb sacks are just it's just insane how many herbs you can carry in that. I could pretty much be a Twisted Banshee for hours upon hours when I do get it and just grind out the herbs. But for now I'm just going to be here until I get a decent amount of them for doing drakes and stuff. So I'm at 403 points right now. The herb zack is 750 points and the next task will give me 270 points because of the number 50. So every kill gives 1000 experience in Slayer and I need like 600,000 experience for every level so 600 Banshee kills is one Slayer level so it's fairly slow but it's pretty good experience still. Oh my dude I have actually killed like 600 Banshees maybe and I've never had a superior this is the first one so let's see if uh, we can get a imbued heart. 1.3k chance from Twisted Banshees. Yeah, unlucky. At least I get a totem piece every single time so we can do more Scotizo kills in the future. Last superior I got was 24 left on the task and now it's 9. So yeah, this was extremely fast. I guess uh, this makes up for not having one in like 600 kills. So no imbued heart there, but I keep getting these totem pieces, of course. Here we go. Task number 50 about to be completed. 673 points. So we only need like 80 more points to have the herb sack, which will make this so insanely good. Quite a decent milestone level here, 70 herb lore with some of the herbs that I've collected from the Twisted Banshees. And I only need two more levels to be able to make the ranging potions without boosting. So that's going to be some nice gains in the future, I have a lot of Wine of Samurai. Another superior, this one took uh, a bit longer to get but not that bad. And we have another piece of the totem and that should be the last one to make another dark totem. So I'm actually going to stop farming the Banshees now and I have 32 Raynars, I have 12 uh, of the Snapdragons as well. But I collected 3 Master Caskets because they give some really good herb supplies. So look at this, 10 Grimy Snapdragons, that's 10 Restore Potions, let's see if we can get more. 7 Snapdragons, yeah I would really like some Raynars or Snapdragons, a bit more of them. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I can make like what? With these, uh, what is that? 36 potions in total I can make with those. So 3 Masters gave me like 36 prayer potions pretty much. That is insane, and also of course the Hosidius uh, fashionscape is pretty nice as well. So with all the herbs that I collected from the Banshee tasks and the Master Clues, I now hit 72 herb lore and I have 31 dwarf weeds that I can make into uh, ranging potions. So we should have a good amount of potions now for future Slayer tasks, 43 prayers, 37 restores as well. Now that I have so many supplies, I'm actually going to get back into Drake. So let's see at the log, by the way, 1.5k Banshee kills in total. Let's go down to Drake's and see how many we have. We have 196. So the drop rate of the item that I need is 1 in 512. So we're almost halfway to the drop rate. And that was a nice 81 Drake task. So let, let's get into this and hopefully get the Drake's claw. So I'm actually going to end the video here and I hope you guys did enjoy it. My total level is at 856 right now so we're getting close to 1900 and actually after that the 2k total is not too far away. I mean I have some free fire making levels I can get. The winter total is like 2.53 million experience per hour so it's just insane. And I have some other stuff that I can level up as well, like all the combat stats is going to be free when I just AFK Slayer pretty much. And uh, the smithing and mining is also very easy levels to get because I have so many bars banked for Slayer from the brimstone keys and all that. So yeah, it's looking pretty good and hopefully I can get the Drake's Claw here within at least like 500 kills or something. And in the beginning of the next video I will hopefully start off with getting a nice drop from the Drake's. I'm currently at... 92 slayer and i need three more levels for the hydra and i really really hope that in the next video i will be able to reach the 95 slayer goal so if you did like the video please leave a like and if you want to see more of my content or know when i post new videos then make sure to subscribe and have a good one guys take care